It's Ron Brown with Tech for Seniors. Do not buy a Chromebook before watching this video. And you know the routine. If you like this video, please click the like and would sure appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out and allows other people to continue seeing the work we do. Thanks again. Let's get on with the show. So what is a Chrome box and why should you consider a Chrome box instead of a Chrome book? Well, let's look what a Chromebook is. A Chromebook is a laptop, of course. It has a monitor. It has a keyboard. It has a speaker. It is a computer. It has a box. It has a touchpad. And of course, a battery. All those components go into a Chromebook. So what is a Chrome box? A Chrome box is basically a Chromebook minus all those devices. Let's go back and have a look at that again. So when you go to purchase a Chromebook, one of the things you look at is a monitor. You look at the screen. All sorts of questions arise. How bright is the screen? How large is the screen? Do you want a big screen or a little screen? Or is it an OLED screen? A lot of times you're spending a large amount of money on a Chromebook just for that screen. Take a look at the keyboard. Sometimes you want a bigger keyboard, a smaller keyboard. Keyboards vary. Let's look at your speaker. How many times have I heard, gee, I like my Chromebook, but it doesn't have a very good speaker. And then of course there's the computer component and then the touchpad. Maybe you want a mouse, maybe you don't want to use a touchpad. And then there's the battery. You're paying for a battery. In a, in a laptop. So what happens if you want to have a large monitor? Suppose you want to have multiple monitors. You don't like the little monitor that comes with a Chromebook. You want to have two big monitors like I have in my display in my office here. Why should you have to pay for the small monitor you don't want? The same thing would come with the keyboard. Maybe you, have your, you already have a keyboard. Why do you have to buy a keyboard? And again, a speaker. You can put great speakers connected into a Chrome box. And again, it, you don't have to pay for the touchpad because you have, uh, maybe you want to use a mouse. And if you're going to use it and not transport it around, why do you need to pay for a battery? If you're always going to leave it plugged in on your desk, why pay for a battery? So what are the advantages to a Chrome box? Well, first of all, a Chrome box is customizable. In other words, uh, you, can, um, you can add monitors, displays, uh, you can add uh, all sorts of peripherals such as a, a keyboard, a mouse, anything you want to plug in to your Chrome box, you can make it as you want it. It's upgradable. So if, as time goes along, if you want to increase RAM or you change the components within the Chrome box, this is often very, um, very possible. And you only pay for the components that you require. You don't need a battery. If you're going to keep it sitting on your desk all the time, why pay for a battery? So you don't require a battery. And the Chrome OS is exactly the same as a Chromebook. It still does all the same things that we talk about. Uh, you do not require virus protection. It's all built into the Chrome operating system. It's exactly the same as a Chromebook. Uh, and the other thing is there's no moving parts. Everything in a Chrome box is all solid state. It always has been. There has never been a spinning drive or any moving parts. So the longevity is great. You can connect unlimited peripherals. Chrome books as well as Chrome boxes can connect to almost anything and you can daisy chain uh, as many devices as you want to plug into these. And again, it's very, very small. You can put these in the palm of your hand. So as a seasonal visitor, suppose you, try, you visit like I do down to uh, Mesa, Arizona, put your Chrome box in the palm of your hand and take it down with you. You don't have to lug a big computer or even a big Chromebook down there. You just have a Chrome box. 
All right, I've chosen three chrome boxes to show you today. The first two are from Best Buy. The third is purchased on Amazon. These were priced today, the uh, 14th of April, 2021 in US dollars. So the first two you can purchase today at, uh, at Best Buy. The uh, model that you see before you is the uh, uh, Chrome Box by Acer model 3867. This is uh, $279 and you will see this, uh, you'll see it mounted behind the uh, display monitor in the lower left. Now you can view, read, watch, stream, listen, and learn with this, this Chrome box. It has the newest Intel Celeron processor and it supports a wide range of multimedia capabilities. Of course, it gets automatic updates to keep your data secure as with the most as with Chrome operating system. It has an ultra quick data transfer and it has USB 3.1 type C ports and you can expand your viewing area and have multiple monitors. The Chromebox lets you view content on two displays through an HDMI and type C port on the back. This makes multitasking a whole lot easier. You can spread out your work, browsers, mirror content, and extend a single browser across multiple displays. All for $280. This is the uh, Chromebox. Now let's look at a little bit more expensive model. This is the, um, this is the uh, Chromebox Intel Core. This has an i3 uh, processor in it. Uh, again, it has the similar um, capabilities as I just described. You'll see the uh, ports on the front and you'll see that the, uh, I've shown you this with two, uh, two monitors connected. Again, if you look at the mouse, the keyboard, and the monitors would all plug in to the uh, ports in your Chrome box as displayed here. Uh, this one is made by, the last two were made by Acer. This is made uh, by Hewlett Packard. This is one of Hewlett Packard's Chrome boxes. This is the G2 Chrome box. This is uh, 200, about $280 is available on uh, Amazon. This comes with a Celeron processor, four gigabytes of RAM, a 32 gigabyte SSD. It has the Chrome operating system and an Intel HD graphics 610 card. This is, uh, as I mentioned, $279. So you should consider a Chromebox for your next purchase. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Seniors. Have a great day.